I warmly welcome you all to the capacity building and sensitization program of the Capital Market Integration Phase 2 project workshop holding in Lagos today. I would like to start by congratulating the leadership and members of WACMIC and WASRA for the successful completion of component one of the project, that is harmonization of ECOWAS capital market rules. It is indeed a, a great pleasure for me to be here to deliver the opening remarks on the occasion of the capacity building and sensitization program on West African capital markets integration phase two projects. WACME phase two project is another milestone for West African Capital Markets Integration Council, WACME, the West African Securities Regulatory Association, WASRA, and indeed West African Monetary Institute, WAMI, on their efforts to integrate the West African capital markets through innovative technology. The event of today aims to foster collaboration and enhance capacity as well as improve understanding of the opportunities and challenges associated with the integration of capital markets in West Africa sub-region. The workshop is geared towards sensitizing relevant stakeholders on efforts at enhancing cross-border investments across region through the establishment of a common and integrated platform for listing, trading, and sentiment of securities transactions leveraging technology and robust policies that will drive innovation, create liquidity, and reduce regulatory burden and other challenges across the region. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the capacity building sensitization program of the West African Capital Market Integration Phase 2 project, that's the WACME. Over the next two days, we gather here in Lagos, Nigeria, to foster collaboration exchange knowledge and explore opportunities in our region's capital markets. This program, funded by the Capital Market Development Trust Fund of the Africa Development Bank and implemented by the West African Monetary Institute, signifies a, 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 an important milestone in the integration of capital markets in our region. Led by the West African Capital Market Integration Council, that's WACMIC, and the West African Securities Regulators Association, WASRA, this initiative aims to establish a common and integrated platform for listing, trading, and settling security transactions within West Africa. Experts have been gathered, professionals, regulators, policymakers, and stakeholders from across the West African region to engage in fruitful discussions, share best practices, and identify solutions for the successful implementation of the WACME Phase Two project. Together, we will engage in insightful discussions share best practices, and explore innovative strategies that will pave way for the successful implementation of the WACME Phase Two project. The project total sum was 850,000 US dollars, like I said, from the Capital Market Development Project. And the project implementing agency is West Africa Monetary Institute, which is WAMI, Accra. The West Africa Monetary Institute is an institute that is uh, well noted in terms of implementing most of the developmental project within the West African zone. So because of its experience and its mandate of integration is handling this uh, project to monitor it and to implement it. The project gestation period is supposed to be 30 months. That is supposed to be from the February 2021 until end in June 2023. But unfortunately, due to the poor startup, COVID-19 and other issues, obstacles. The project did not start in time, and as such, we had to look for the extension of the period to another 12 months. So the project now ends by 2024 June, precisely. So first, I'm sure you all know how WASRA started, 2015. Initially part of the WACMIC split from WACMIC to WASRA so that WASRA can focus on the policy arm, whereas WACMIC will focus on the implementation. The WACMIC, we all know, is made up of the exchanges, and the WASRA is for the regulators. 
the charter was formally signed in 2016 and so far we've been assisted by WAMI in the process. Now this is because this particular provision is what sets up the Capital Issues Committee of ECOWAS and currently there's no institution that is dealing with that. So WASRA is embarking on the process to be recognized under Article 53, which requires that we want to ensure unimpeded flow of capital within the community, removal of controls and transfer of capital, encouragement of the establishment of national regional stock exchanges, interlocking the capital markets, ensuring that nationals of member states are given the opportunity to acquire securities across board and also to establish a machinery for dissemination of information and quotations on stock exchanges across the region. On the phase one part of the project, when you want to trade across the markets, you have to go through a broker in the host market. Now with this phase two, you don't need to. You sit down, you have access directly to the Ghana Stock Exchange platform and you can trade. That's what it is. Um, I got a question, I heard about a question uh, that came earlier about settlement. So we are going to talk about settlement later because the CSDs are also involved in this project. Then we are going to be also involving the CSDs. In fact, the CSDs are part of WACMIC. Dr. Zubay forgot to mention that the WACMIC is not just the exchanges, we have the CSDs. So CSCS is a part of WACMIC. The CSD in Ghana is a part of WACMIC. The CSD in uh, the BRVM market, that's the UMR market, is part of WACMIC. And the central bank in Cape Verde is part of WACMIC. So they are all parts of WACMIC. And they have their own small group, a subcommittee that is supposed to talk about settlement. And as he rightly said, PAPS is going to be used for the settlement. Uh, we, we are expecting a member, a, a, a a speaker, I would say, from PAPS to come in here today or tomorrow to talk about.